Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's explain the best searcher in Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, let's try to explain why I feel this is the best searcher in Yu-Gi-Oh! As you know, when we, all, when we Yu-Gi-Oh! players get a Yu-Gi-Oh! card, we tend to have a reaction similar to what I like to call like this. I bought this one myself. You use your own money? Well, I wanted to have the best deck. You must be a meta player. So I remember, right? I was speaking to some of some other people, you know, in a group that I made. You know, about this card and its potential uses and how it's really strong in the targets that you can search. And when they're telling me like it doesn't have a lot of targets because it has that clause, it cannot be normal summoner sets. I was like. Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> As you know, like, when I was speaking to the group about Chaos Space, the discussion went really off the rails. I can't deny that. It's just the truth at this point. But one thing I did get to mention was that, you know, I, I did say I personally believe that light and dark decks, you know, the players who play with light and dark monsters are gonna be like Okay, now putting my feelings right aside Dreams do come true Let's get to this card and its effect and really describe to you why it just brought about all these feelings and all these emotions and things so let's get to Chaos Space. Let me showcase the card now and read you its effect. Here I go. Okay, here is a spell Chaos Space. As you can see, it's right in front of you. Let's get to its effect. As you can see, Chaos Space is a normal spell card. Its effect. Send one light or dark monster from your hand to the graveyard. Add one light or dark monster that cannot be normal summoned slash set from your deck to your hand with a level from 4 to 8 and with a different attribute than that monster. You can banish this card from your graveyard and target one of your banished light or dark monsters. They cannot be normal summoned slash set. Place that monster on the bottom of the deck. Then draw one card. You can only use each effects of Chaos Space once per turn. On my first reading of Chaos Space, unlike On my second reading of Chaos Space, I start to think, you know, surely Konami, in the infinite wisdom, will tell me that... There's a perfectly logical explanation for this. I don't believe you. Well, there's a simple explanation for this. I'm tired of that. And on my third reading of Chaos Space, my reaction is now like So that's how you do it. But there's one thing I just can't put my finger on. You know. Just that one thing you know about this card, especially when I see that last line of text. You know, near the last line of text on uh Chaos Space. It sounds oddly familiar. I wonder where I've seen a card that allows you to draw for days. Hmm. What is that card again? Oh well, I'm sure it'll come to me. So, let me explain just the gravity and the amount of targets that this card has. We essentially have light ray monsters. You have any ritual monster that's light or dark between the levels of level 4 and 8. You also have chaos monsters. You also have um, some other obscure monsters that tend to be light or dark, that tend to have, you know, convenient, right, clauses of being a kind of be normal somewhat of set. And guess what attributes they are? Yes, you guessed it. They're light and they're dark. And they tend to be in between those levels. 
you know, it goes on and on and it can go on and on, but essentially like loads of obscure cards in Yu-Gi-Oh tend to be light or dark and are between the levels of level 4 and 8. And most of the times, these sort of cards, usually they get banned or limited because they have such powerful effects. But the main issue of these cards is that usually back in the day, we'd have to, or even, you know, most often recently, we'd have to hard draw these cards. But now that you have the ability to just add these cards from your deck to your hand, and on top of that, you know, you can just like, I don't know, conveniently draw a card. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.